Hello and welcome to Universe Sandbox 2. So, I have a suggestion from Austin Galigos or Galigos. I don't know how to really pronounce that last name. But they suggest create a black star and make Earth habitable. That's the latest comment anyways. There was a previous comment giving instructions on how to do so. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. So essentially, I've been told to place Mercury, then increase its mass into a star, so we'll just set it to a value of one sun. And there we go, let's go ahead and zoom out. Okay, so now we have a black star. Now I don't think this is technically a black dwarf, I think it's just a star that is very cold. So that's a little bit weird, but... No, that's actually very weird. <laughs> but we have a star that is currently 449 Kelvin, so that's based on a scale of absolute zero. If we go to Celsius, it is 176 degrees Celsius. So we could drop its value down further, but I'm not going to. Let's go ahead and orbit Earth around it, as I was asked to do. And I was told to also terraform Earth. And that could be a little bit difficult, as Earth is obviously already terraformed. Ooh, look at that red ominous glow actually coming from that star. Because it seems to be emitting at least some little bit of light. Currently at 5.81 degrees Celsius. And what's also interesting about it is it's not being torn up. The star is actually not shredding it within the Roche limit. So I wonder if I could actually utilize this. And let's just go ahead and get rid of Earth. And possibly place Earth in such a fashion where if I could find the star that I placed... Where did the star go? That's a little bit weird. I have completely misplaced an, an entire star. Okay, we'll just uh, remake that real quick. Okay, so we'll make that a value of one sun, and there we go. I wonder if I could actually place Earth close enough to actually warm it with tidal friction. This is going to be difficult and might not turn out very well, but let's put Earth very close to this, and needless to say, it cannot get that close. So now it's becoming a kind of ring around this star. Okay, we'll just place a few Earths until eventually we kind of get it. So is this one falling apart? Yeah, that one's falling apart as well. This one. Is this one holding together? Uh, it's falling apart, but not as quickly, but it's still falling apart. Now let's check this one. This one seems good. And there we go, I think we have it. I think this one's actually at the right distance to where it's actually being heated up by tidal friction. And at the same time, not actually succumbing to the Roche limit and being shredded apart. In fact, it's actually sitting a little bit warmer than our planet currently. So that's pretty cool. So there you go. I mean, that's actually pretty simple. It just has to be like a kind of very, very close distance. In fact, because I actually turned up the time scale, it kind of ruins the uh, accuracy of temperature in the simulation. It's actually increasing quite a bit. It's actually at 30 degrees Celsius now and probably going to keep climbing up. Might even go molten over time, especially if I speed it up even more. And... <laughs> Not quite molten, but it got up to 200 degrees Celsius, and now it's actually, if you can see the preview here, you can't actually see it on the planet itself. It's not faring too well. But there you go, that's essentially how you can, that's one way to actually kind of terraform Earth. It'd be a very, very dark planet though. So, you can only imagine over evolution, things may basically start to develop, no, echolocation, might even get rid of eyes in evolution. Things might not even have eyes, kind of like extreme files found in caves that have been separate from the surface for a very, very long time. And it's not breaking apart, but as you can see, it's so warm the oceans are actually evaporating away. I think. I'm pretty sure. But there you go, that's one way to terraform Earth. The other way would be to if I go ahead and get rid of this, place Earth right here, you can see the particles of water, place Earth over here where it's going to be too cold and it's actually going to freeze over, as you'll see in this preview right here. 
and it's descending in temperature very quickly. So if we can actually, instead of utilizing the star, utilize our moon and make it orbit at a distance pretty close to Earth, which actually that's not going to work because as you can see, it's going to immediately be carried away by the star because we're actually way too close to the star. That's very interesting actually. I don't think there's a way we could actually make it orbit very close without the moon by Earth's Roche, Roche limit. Oh, that was not good. Well, there you go. That's one way to heat up Earth right there. Hmm. But very interesting suggestion. So it seems like we cannot actually utilize the moon to heat up Earth. It looks like the only way we could actually do that is just metal friction from this star. Anyways, if you guys like the video, please leave it a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, please do subscribe. It really does help. And I will see you guys in the next one.